My name is Ahmad Salim. I'm an architect by profession. Mike Murphy, um, I'm the chief engineer for this project, the Undersea Villa. My name is Yuji Yamazaki, I'm a Japanese architect. My role in this project is to design an uh, interior. In 2004, we decided to create the world's very first underwater restaurant, and we have become very famous. So from there, we did a lot of research, and we thought, OK, now is the time we have to have an undersea villa. After about 12, 13 years, or however long Ethan has been down since then, he's come back uh, with this much more exciting project. It's one of those particular jobs you only get once in a lifetime. So we had to build a lot of technologies into this to make sure that they are 100% safe all the time that they're sleeping under the water. Other people have done sort of simpler underwater structures. This particular size and, and scope of projects is probably the largest we would go. It's around about 600 tonnes, whereas this one's much more challenging. It's got plumbing downstairs and it's got a lift, uh, which we never had before. So all these things had to be incorporated into the structure. Always got to consider things that might go wrong, particularly on a complex project like this at the time of sinking, because it's uh, that's the most critical time. So you lose a bit of sleep, you think about it, you wake up, say, okay, don't be nervous, everything is in place and it's going to go well. After the ship moors alongside, it's got two big cranes on it, and then the crane can lift the whole entire thing into the water. Uh, everyone is happy, the engineers are happy, everything has gone very well. So we're all relieved and very, very extremely happy. Almost want to jump, jump up and down. <laughs> You're still missing, you know, 50% of uh, Maldives. There's a whole another half of uh, life under the surface of the water. Try to avoid design, you know, something that takes away from the view outside. So. Uh, we kept uh, interior design minimum and I want them to kind of feel the solitude, you know, the uh, quietness. They are the only ones in the world who are sleeping with a view of the ocean. Our motivation is to do something different and something great that we as partners can be very proud of because we have done something that everyone has been talking about. And up to now, no one has succeeded. So the impact of this all around the world will be just amazing. We have created something for 100 Maldives, but more than that, we have also created something for the whole of Maldives.